In this video, I'll demonstrate how to solve the laboratory exercise router and switch redundancy of the course Cybersecurity Essentials from Cisco. In this exercise, we'll observe a network failover with redundant routers and another failover with redundant switches. But before starting the demonstration, subscribe to the channel to see more videos about Packet Tracer networking and Cisco courses, hit the like button if this video helped you, and write in the comments if you have any question about Packet Tracer, this exercise or Cisco courses. Now let's start doing the exercise. We are going to open the Metropolis Bank network, open the Fields computer, go to the desktop and open the command prompt, and now we are going to ping the external server that has the IP 209.165.201.10 so write the command ping and the IP 209.165.201.10 and enter and wait for the ping the first ping didn't work Let's wait, you'll try four times. Another request timeout, okay. Now the ping is okay. It failed two times because we are trying this for the first time, but should be okay right now. Now let's see the root of the communication. Write trace RT and the IP of the server, that is 209.165.201.10. And press enter. We can see all the devices the communication had to use to reach the server. If we get our table, we can see the IP 10.44.1.2 is the router 1. So this router. The second one is 10.45.2.2. That's not here, but it's probably this router that is the gateway for the network then another IP and finally our external server so this device is probably the gateway to the network of the server now let's cause a network failover let's minimize now open the switch number one go to CLI and now we will stop this interface of this switch. So, in the CLI, write Enable, Configure Terminal, and choose Interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. Now we are in mode Config of the interface, and write Shutdown. When we press enter, we'll shut down this interface, number 2. So, enter, and now it's red. So, it's not working, this interface. And this interface connected the switch to the router. And because of this failover, the network needs to find another path. So, go back to Phil's computer. Let's see the network. Let's try to do the ping again to the same server and it's working even with this failover with this interface not working it's working and let's try to do a trace route to the same server we have four devices if we bring the table of the IPs so the first one 10.44.1.3 this IP now this is the router number 2 so the connection went down here the connection went from Phil's computer to switch 1 to switch 2 to router number 2. Because the interface that connects switch 1 to router 1 is not working. So the network found another path. Then the second device is 10.45.1.2. That's not on our table. That's again the this router that is the gateway to the network. Now let's try redundancy of switches. 
let's close this network let's go to the network Gotham healthcare branch so in this network we have only one router but we have several switches we have switch number one two and three and we'll test a failover on a switch so open the computer of Tim that is connected to switch number three open the desktop open the command prompt and let's ping the external server so ping and the IP 209.165.201.10 and hit enter let's wait to the ping the communication is happening it's trying to ping the server and everything is fine we can ping the server on this network but in this case we'll cause a failover while we are communicating. So we write again ping but with the parameter minus t to have a constant ping. So we are pinging the server from Teams computer and now let's deactivate this interface on switch number three. So open switch number three, go to CLI, enter the command enable, enter configure terminal Right, interface, interface, gigabit ethernet, zero slash two, because the interface gigabit ethernet is this one that connects switch number three and switch number one. So press enter and write shut down. When we'll press enter, the interface will be off. So enter and turn red. Now let's open the ping. Okay, you cannot ping the server anymore. So the network is trying to find another way, another path on this network. And this could take between 30 seconds to one minute. So let's wait. It's trying to find some other path. We have this path through switch number two so you'll try to activate this interface on switch number two so let's wait a little bit this is in real time it continues to ping or trying to ping the server come on network okay now it's green so the ping start to working okay it's fine right now so the network has redundancy on switches because we have this failover between the interface of switch number three and switch number one the network tried to find another path in this case through switch number two and then to switch number one and to the router and on the internet so in this exercise we'll demonstrate the importance of having redundancy on routers and redundancy with switches because problems can happen devices can fail but the network will try to find another path to work and this is everything the exercise is completed if you want to see more videos about packet tracer networking or cisco courses subscribe to the channel if this video helps you hit the like button and write in the comments if you have any questions about Packet Tracer, networking or Cisco courses. And I will see you on the next video.